LinkedIn Sales Navigator is the most used tool by sales reps. The problem? Most people don't know how to use it right. They stick to basic filters instead of using advanced plays that actually get results. In this video, I'd like to get technical. I'll show you 12 plays to find leads with strong triggers and the exact messages you can send them. But before we dive in, let me show you how to define personas. Personas are just saved filters. For example, all heads of growth at companies with 50 to 200 employees in the software industry. You'll see why this matters in a bit. All right. Let's go. Play number one, recent job changes. When someone just landed a new role, they're more open to fresh ideas and solutions. They often have budget, pressure to perform and authority to make changes. Reaching out now gives you the best shot at starting a new partnership. To do this, select your persona. Then click on the changed jobs toggle. Here is the message you can send. By the way, throughout all of these plays, if you want to take the time to read them, just pause. Play number two. Make a list of prospects who you talk to, check if they have changed company recently or changed job. Your lost deals aren't dead, they just moved. When a prospect changed jobs, they might need your product again, this time with more influence or urgency. Reaching out now feels warm, not cold. To do this, make a list with all the prospects you're talking with. Then, from time to time, select this lead list and check the jobs change toggle. Here's a message that works. Day number three, promotions internally. If a prospect's still at the same company, but shows a recent job change, they've likely been promoted. That means new goals, bigger budgets, and fresh pain points. Filter for people with more than one year at the company who recently changed jobs. Here's a good message to send that speaks to the pain they're likely facing in their new role. Play number four, alumni of your school. Alumni trust alumni. It's an easy way to break the ice. Shared experience builds instant credibility and makes your outreach feel personal not random. Head to the personal section, click on school and enter yours. Here's the beginning of the message you can send them. Next to the company growth triggers. This signals that the company is scaling and likely investing. This brings us to play number five, headcount growth. When a company is hiring fast, it means growth and growing pains. That's your chance to offer a solution before they start feeling the stretch. It works even better when it's a specific department. Now you can't filter that from the lead section, but no worries, it's easy. Go to the Accounts tab and use the Department Headcount Growth filter. I usually go with at least 33%. Then, save those companies to a list and head back to the Leads tab. Apply your Persona filter again and, ta-da, here's a message for sales and business development teams growing fast. Let's move on to social and behavioral intent. These are signals that the person is showing interest or activity on LinkedIn. So, play number six. They viewed your LinkedIn profile recently. If they checked your profile, they're already curious. It's a perfect warm signal. Reach out while it's still fresh in their mind. This is especially relevant if you're posting content related to what you sell. In the buyer intent section, click on viewed your profile recently, filter with your personas and send something like. All right, lane number seven, company followers or company competitors. People who follow your company or your competitors are already in the market. They know the space, so your message won't come out of nowhere. It's the other filter in the buying intent, the following your company one. What I usually like to do is ask for feedback on new content we just published to build on their initial interest. This one, let me read you the example email. Hey, first name, saw you follow Lemlist on LinkedIn. Thanks for that. Wanted to share the first version of our new cold calling playbook. Would love your feedback. Looks like cold calling might be part of your motion at company. If they follow a competitor, it's more of a hack you need to add the company in your own experience, then apply the filter. So the message would look like this. Notice the call to action here? Write it down. Play number eight, posts of targeted leads. Let's leave the lead section for a while and go to the home one. In the alert tab, you will see all the recent posts published by people in your list. If you see someone is talking about something you can solve, shoot it a message. It's a quick win. Something like this works. Notice here that we mentioned the post and the exact line that stood out to show it's not something automated. Now we should take a moment to talk about affinity and relationship signals. These are warm paths you can use to build credibility with play number nine. Connection of for referrals. Mutual connections build instant trust. Use the connection of filter to find warm paths, then ask for an intro or mention the shared link in your message. Don't reach out to people you're connected with but never spoke to. What I like to do instead is whenever I close a new customer, I use the connections of to see who they've connected with that could be a fit. Then I send the following message to my customer. Also think about your past colleagues. They may have worked in companies that are interesting to you. Something like this would work. Keep it casual. It's time for strategic relevance with play number 10. Past companies hot leads. These are people who used to work at your customer companies. They know you, they know what you offer, 
And now that they've moved, they're more likely to bring your solution into their new company. I'd send a short message like this. Play number 11, competitors of your customers. If one of your customers is using your product, chances are their competitors are feeling the pressure. That makes them more open to hearing how you're helping their rival. Use that momentum to start a relevant, timely conversation. Hey Brian, noticed you're in a similar space to George's. They came to Lemlis after seeing weak results from single channel outreach. We helped them add LinkedIn into the mix and they triple their results. Want to see what that could look like for you? Play number 12, company news and alerts. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really use this one every day since it's more for big accounts. But if you go into the accounts tab and select a list, you'll get some insights on these companies. Here's an example and the kind of message you can send. Before I let you go, I want to point out that Sales Navigator is great for fresh data, but there are three drawbacks. Firstly, if you want to reach out at scale, you need a sales engagement platform. It's inevitable. Number two, the number of intent signals is limited. And lastly, it's expensive. That's why at Lemlist, we don't use Sales Navigator. We use Lemlist directly. It gives you access to 450 million contacts and smart filters like company tech stacks, last funding date, revenue, or even keywords in the company description. You can also see which companies visited your website. Nice. So basically, everything I just showed you can be done inside Lemlist. You're welcome. The difference, you don't need a sales nav subscription. And when you find leads with strong intent, you can enrich and push them into a multi-channel campaign with one click. It's a game changer. And if you want to know how to craft messages that get you replies for real, check out this video right here. That was Rafa from Lemlist. Cheers.